Good morning, aloha. God bless you all. It is Thursday morning, 8.40 in the morning, 77 degrees, August 8th. And uh, we both have a word for you. Do you have one too? No, I'm just leaving it for you. <laughs> okay, well, I have a word for you. <laughs> well, this just came onto my heart this morning. And in 2 Corinthians 1.20, in the New American Standard, it says, For as many as are the promises of God in him, they are yes, and therefore also through him is our amen to the glory of God through us. And when I was younger, I would look at different things that would happen to different people. And I think, you know, why, you know, they're Christians. I'm a Christian. Why is uh, this happening to them? It could happen to me. If it's happening to them, it could happen to me. And so there was just an insecurity there of not feeling safe. And um, so now what I've come to understand is that I am qualified because of the righteousness of Christ. When I became born again and one with Christ, I became his righteousness and therefore I qualify for all of his blessings and promises in the Old and New Testament and every curse in the Bible has been broken at the cross. So I am qualified for all the blessings and all the promises and none of the curses can touch me because they've been broken at the cross. And so I realized that it's when I trust him in that area. So you know when trials come and challenges come into our lives, it is an opportunity for God to show us another facet of his faithfulness to us. And so we must uh, read the word, what the word says about the situation, put our trust in him and watch him come through as our rescuer and our hero once again, because God is a good, good father and we are his beloved children. And that's a yes and an amen. God bless you and have a beautiful Thursday. Aloha. Aloha.